いじゃなきゃ未来が見えないだろでいいのかって顔だななぜならお前は未来で最悪な死に方をする So, episode 11 of Chainsaw Man, and I'm gonna start off this video by saying, Don't get mad at what I'm about to say. So, this episode of Chainsaw Man felt like a very transitional episode. Now, all in all, that's not necessarily the worst thing in the world, but in the context of knowing we have one episode left of season one, core one, part one of Chainsaw Man, it's a little bit disappointing in feeling that we. Accomplished a lot this episode from an informational standpoint, but this being the last episode before the last episode, it kind of feels just okay to me. So let me let me go through the episode. I'll kind of tell you the things that occurred that stood out to me, my opinion on them, and then kind of dive deeper into kind of the unsatisfaction of that I had of episode number 11. Now, obviously, if you love these, that was the best thing since sliced bread. Stop the video here, put a big old thumbs up in the comment, and don't even worry about my opinion at all. Uh, for everybody else, though, okay? So we start off the episode with Aki choosing his new devil. Okay, obviously that's cool. That's where we got left off on last weekend or、uh, last week.、Uh, this, uh, this specific devil keeps chanting the future rules. Really like this devil quite a bit. I thought he was really、uh, qu quirky and wacky and all those things.、Uh, he literally tells Aki to stick his head in his gut. Basically, has a big old hole with an eye. That way he can read the future. He basically reads Aki's future and he's like, I need to go with this dude. His. Death is gonna be effing rad. He goes to tell Aki, and Aki's like, Yo, I don't care, bro. I just need to accomplish my mission. Don't care how I'm gonna die. It's all gonna be Gucci. So he obtains the future devil. Okay? That took up three minutes or so. Not, not a whole lot of time. I thought that was definitely needed with, with everything that occurred last week. It made sense in the context of how the episode ended. Totally okay with it. Uh, then, the next, then the next thing that happens is we see a lot of the setup for the Division 4 raid that's going to happen on the, on the dudes that basically killed up all the special divisions on, on the massacre episode, okay? So we see Makima going to meet with the Yakuza.、Uh, we see the old dude meeting with Makima. We see、uh, Denji and Power still training. We see all of that stuff. It was all fine, all serviceable. It was all, again, informational. When, you know, when an anime goes informational, it doesn't tend to be really like riveting or really like entertaining. It is just, in fact, that it's something is to provide more information to us, the viewer, so that we, ha we have more context for things that occur later. I have no problem with this. Again, my problem just becomes that this is the last episode before the final episode of this season. If this happened three episodes ago, you know, episode eight, episode seven, right in the dab middle of the season to provide more context for the big moments towards the end, no problem. But when it comes to be like the last episode before we have one left, it becomes a little bit harder.、Uh, we then see that they have some zombies. I thought the zombie stuff was pretty cool. Uh, we then、uh, we got to see them. Okay, Division 4 is going to go do the raid. Cool.、Uh, we see Kobeni. I love the way that they keep animating Kobeni. She's just always, she is just a, a bag of mess. I love that so much.、Uh, then, you know, right, you know, right as they start to attack, we get introduced to kind of like this, like the suicide squad, essentially. We get introduced to all the different devils that are working for the division.、Uh, we meet the shark devil, the shark head devil. We meet the spider devil. Kumiko, be proud if you know, you know. Uh, we meet the angel devil. We see that Aki interacts with the angel devil. We find out that the angel devil, if you, if you have physical contact with them,、uh, that you, you lose some of your life force. How fast, how quick? I don't, I'm sure somebody knows, but we don't know.、Uh, we see the violence devil, which is basically,、uh, he seems like a, 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 like a karate sensei, you know, kung fu person. Pretty cool stuff. Uh, then we see Makima to go to work. She begins to you know, slowly pick off everybody that's there because she got the names from the Yakuza guys.、Uh, and then we see Aki go into battle with the, with the girl who's kind of like leading this thing out、uh, from last week with her ghost devil. And we find out that Aki now, because he's kind of like,、um, if you guys have watched Mashoko Tensei,、uh, like Rudy, like Rudius Grey Rat, how he has the future eye, how he can see just a little peek into the future. Aki now has that ability based on, on contracting with this devil. So he's now able to take a little peek into the future. So maybe a few seconds into the future so that way he can react and everything、uh, more better. But the reality is he can only move as fast as he can naturally move. It's not like he got some additional powers 
with contracting. He, can, he now can just basically see a little further into the future, which I think is actually pretty cool. Then at that point, you know, Aki gets in a predicament to where he might be uh, getting choked out. We know he's going to either... We know the future devil is either going to help him out and he's going to unlock some other power that he has. We know that he's going to, you know, take to the sword and use his sword, curse devil, whatever. Or someone else is going to come to his savior. Maybe the angel devil since he gave, he gave her, her or him, whatever, his, his handkerchief. Or maybe Denji or power will show up. We know some, something's going to happen. Aki will be okay. Uh, or maybe he won't. This, this anime likes to do twists and stuff. Maybe they, maybe all this build up was for nothing. Naki go and get. Uh, we'll, we'll 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 seemingly have to find out. But that's the cliffhanger we got left off on, which is which is fine because they're gonna build up for a, a big fight next week. I just think that you know this episode was it was oh it was an okay informational serviceable episode that I really felt like as I was watching. I was like, okay, this is a lot of stuff. I'm I'm absorbing the information it's giving me. I do appreciate the context. I absolutely do. Don't get don't, don't get the don't get the panties in a bunch. I absolutely do appreciate the context and the information. It's just, yo, we're about to hit the last episode of the season. I'm expecting like balls to the wall last couple of episodes and it seems like we might get that next episode. But, you know, I don't have like the highest faith because this episode was just okay. Uh, I think the massacre episode was like peak to me, and then kind of after that, it's been okay so far, you know. Uh, so we'll see what next week brings to the table. But overall, serviceable, good episode. Love the future rules line with the future devil. But yeah, that's all I have. Let me know what you guys think about this episode down in the comments below. As always, my friends, I appreciate you guys being here another week, and I will see you guys next week for the last episode of Chainsaw Man. All right, peace out.